Hello, everybody. All right, so here is a quick and uh, here's a quick tip on understanding how to play a Savage Worlds character, okay? And that quick tip is you have to learn how to think in abstracts. So if you are a fan of D20 and, and some of the older editions, you can buy encyclopedia books on magic. And you can have a whole book on just magic missile. In Savage Worlds, you would pick the bolt power from one of the arcane backgrounds, and then you would pick a trapping. So let's say you wanted to be a pyromancer. You would take the bolt power and choose the fire trapping, which you could either say was lingering damage because it's burning, and the same thing could apply if you took the acid trapping. Like, let's say you were, you know, uh, a mucus mage. Let's say that you're a uh, psionic, and your psionic ability causes you to set things on fire. Well, you take the psionic's arcane background, and you take the bolt power. Let's say you're heat wave from Legends of Tomorrow or from the Flash comics. Well, then you pick weird science, and you pick the bolt power, and it does fire damage. Or, you know, honestly, for that, you might want to pick the bolt and the burst power, because that way you can swip it between, you know, a single bolt or a single missile and a cone template. You know, let's say you want to throw some grenades. Well, then you pick the arcane background, weird science, and you pick the blast power. And with the Adventure Edition, a lot of these damaging spells actually have um, the ability to add extra damage. So what you do is you just think of, well, I want this to be a simple action. I want to throw something and I want it to do damage. And then you're like, okay, what's the method of that? I want to have a gun, weird science. I want to use my mind, psionics. I want to use magic, just magic, you know? Let's say you pick an android, because you're in a sci-fi setting, and you want to do healing. You're like, oh, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't want to do weird science. Like, I guess I could do weird science and say it's a med kit. But you, you got a cool GM. Well, you know, if, if it's so far in the future that they don't know the difference, you could say, well, I mean, I've got nanobots. I've got, like, small machines. Could I use the arcane background, magic, or psionics and just say it's done through technology? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Because in Savage Worlds, what happens is it happens in the abstract. So if you can explain it and your GM is cool with it, most likely you could do it. And that's really what I love about the system. So go out there, open up the book, and just try and think of the craziest character you can think of, right? Like, let's say you want to make a goblin Iron Man. I made a goblin Iron Man for, for one of my games. You can do it. You know, you want to pick up the armor, power, you want to pick up fly, you want to get an advance, and you want to pick up bolt and blast. And guess what? You got it right there. It's really easy. Just think in abstracts, and if you're a fan of like some of the more theater kid systems, think in abstracts and tags. Like, okay. The abstract of this is I want to use a machine, weird science. I want to uh, do some damage. Like, for example, you know, the Fantasy Companion and the uh, Savage Pathfinder book have bards in them. But you know what? You could have been playing a bard all along because all you had to do was pick magic and then choose boost lower trait and just your playing of the instrument does it. Yeah. So yeah, go out there and crack open just the core book and see what you can do, because you can do a lot if you can break the mold and just think in abstracts.
Okay, folks, I'm Dustin, and I'm walking through Star City, and I hope you all have a really good day. Thanks for coming.